just got a software update. Cool. Disney Plus, car wash mode, mirror auto dim, dash cam improvements, range display, connected to Wi-Fi, and cool new languages. Oh, Romanian. What is Zila? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am filming in my car because today I am filming a Tesla review video. I am so excited to be filming this and I have been looking forward to the day that I could film this since I literally got the car. I have had my Tesla for six months now so I feel like I can do an appropriate review of the 2021 Tesla Model Y. I got this car in March, it's about to be October, and yeah, I, I really, really love it. So let's get into the let's get into the review shall we not only have i had this car for six months but i also drove a road trip in this car from charlotte north carolina to miami florida and i feel like i drive it quite a bit i am not on the road every single day but i do feel like i explore miami a lot i've gone to jacksonville in this car i have i'm always going to like fort lauderdale west palm beach all over miami i feel like i drive it a good amount and in the six months that i've had it i've driven around a thousand miles. I was looking at so many Tesla videos before I ended up buying it and I wanted to make my own version of what I really think about this car so I'm going to break it down in pros, cons, and then talk about some features that really stand out to me. The very first pro is that this car is such a fun car to drive. I don't even know how to describe it, but it is just so much fun. I'm someone who hates driving. Before I moved to New York and I had a car, I had a BMW 335i, it was a 2007, and it was a fun car as well, but I just hated driving. Like, I just never wanted to drive. I always wanted my friends to drive, but this car is different. I, all of a sudden, enjoy driving. I think it's so fun. It's so easy. I'm just, I enjoy my time spent in this car, which I would have never ever have said in the past. Anyone that knows me knows how much I hate driving. Another thing that is just absolutely insane about this car is the acceleration, and maybe that's what makes it so fun, but this is one of the fastest cars on the market right now. It is so freaking fast. It goes from 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds, and it feels like you are flying, and your head just goes back when it accelerates like it's one of those things that you're just like it's like a roller coaster because it goes so fast and it's just immediate there is no like build up like it just flies so I think that that is one of the most fun features of the car but I really really do love the acceleration and it always shocks you another thing that was really huge for me is safety and this is one of the safest cars on the market it is such a safe car and I feel so protected and safe in this car not only because it is a bigger car so I do feel feel more safe in that sense you know I sit higher up it's a little bit bigger but also in the fact that it has automatic braking for you if you happen to you know not brake in time which has only happened to me once before it was we were sitting in traffic and I was just kind of distracted and I just kind of like didn't hit the brakes in time and the car stopped for me and it was very aggressive and very jolty but you know what I didn't hit the car in front of me and I was so thankful that I was driving this car because I was like oh my gosh that was just so stupid of me so that's happened to me one you also can set it so that it alerts you when you are getting too close or like it thinks that you might hit the car in front of you for example if you are not slowing down but it senses that the car in front of you has slowed down it will beep and make a noise and it will shock you so i have it on the medium mode so sometimes it alerts me when i'm like i was gonna stop but it's nice to have anyways and it definitely makes me feel safe there's also sensors all around this car it can literally see things that you can't even see so i definitely feel safe like when i'm on the highway when i'm changing lanes anything like that like it just makes me feel so much safer knowing that this car can sense all the other cars around me it can sense people it can sense trash cans like it can it can sense everything another huge pro of this car are the cameras the cameras on this car are like freaking iphone cameras they are so good when you are backing up you don't even need 
to like look around you. Look, I do a little quick check, but then I rely on the cameras because the cameras can see so much more than I can see through the mirrors. So cameras are incredible. They're such high quality. They can see so far away. Um, whenever you're backing up, I get the backup camera and I get the cameras on the side so I can see like where the wheels are, what's on the side of my car, how close I am on the sides. And it just makes backing into spots, backing up, maneuvering so easy. The cameras are absolutely incredible in this car. Like, I think that they are the best cameras on the market right now. And because this car has cameras all around, it has something called sentry mode, which if you turn it on, which I've actually have not turned it on yet, but if you're, let's say, parked in an area where you want to make sure no one's breaking into your car, you're leaving your car overnight somewhere, whatever it may be, you can turn on sentry mode and it detects if anyone tries to get into your car because it is recording and it will send you the footage so no one's breaking into your car another thing that was huge for me the bluetooth is amazing in this car i get in and i am automatically connected i cannot tell you how annoying it is to have bluetooth issues with cars and every single car that i go in besides this one has had some sort of bluetooth issue like it just automatically connects and it's the quickest bluetooth connection i've had in a car literally even quicker than like your iphone and airpods like it's just like automatically connected and like your music starts playing another thing that i absolutely love about this car is that there are no keys so i have a card literally looks like a credit card let me show you this is the car key this is the car key that if you don't have whoops this is your car key i have my keys on my phone though so i never even use this but if i am valeting if i'm giving my car to someone then i give them this and you just put it in your center console and it recognizes it and you can drive but i never even never even use it it's just nice in case my phone dies or when i'm using valet however my phone the app the tesla app is my car key so i never have to pull anything out as long as i have my phone on me it automatically detects it just open my door and drive away which is so nice and then another nice thing about not having keys is that you can actually give access to up to five people so let's say you have a boyfriend or a husband or a kid that wants to also be able to drive the car you can just enter their email and give them access and they download the app and now they have a key on their phone too so you don't have to make duplicates or anything like that which can get expensive and it's just so nice and like there's like no replacement because it's like your phone there's no on and off the second you get in the car the car is on the second you get out of the car and close the door and you walk away the car is off there's no on and off button and it automatically locks when you walk away so you don't even have to like click open your phone and click lock like it just automatically locks when you walk away there's like no button that you have to press that is like one of my favorite parts of this car and then in terms of just like the look and feel and like usage of this car this car has so much space it's in incredible the model y specifically it's so spacious the back seat is incredibly spacious i've sat in the back seat of this car and i haven't felt uncomfortable i never felt claustrophobic i never felt nauseous like it's just an incredibly spacious back seat and the trunk and the storage in this car is in Insane. not only do you have the trunk but you have like a little bottom compartment that you can store a lot of stuff and you have the frunk which is the front trunk of the car because there is no engine there's no there's nothing there's just a battery at the bottom of the car so there's just so much room for space in this car which i think is so nice those are all of my pros for this car that i could think of and things that i think i would have wanted to know before deciding to purchase or lease a model y As for the cons, there really aren't that many, but there are some. The biggest con for me is the charging, and let me explain. It is because I live in an apartment that does not have a charger. It's my fault, I know that. Don't, like, that's totally on me, but I do live in a place that doesn't have a charger, so every time I charge, I have to supercharge. I, thankfully, live incredibly close to a supercharger, but that can definitely be annoying if you do live in a place or move to a place eventually that doesn't have a charger. So that can be definitely annoying, but it's not impossible, especially if you live near a supercharger. However, if you live at home, if you live in a house, you live in an apartment that has a charger, it's not annoying because you can just charge overnight and that will get you through the day, trust me. I don't even charge every single day. I charge around once a week, I would say, and it gets me through. So if you do live in a place that has a charger or you live at home and you can plug in your charger, Charger, then it's super super easy another con is that there is a little bit of a blind spot in this car I don't know if it's 
it's just me, but also when Keon drives it, he says the same thing. We do feel like this driver's side, it's a little hard to see if there is a car there. Kind of mitigate that. I mean, there are sensors all over this car. Like, you technically don't even really need to look to see if there's someone because it will show you when you are driving if there is someone there and where cars are. But I just feel safer double checking myself. But there is a little bit of a blind spot. So, because you can see on the screen, it's fine, but I will just say that if you're someone who like does not like blind spots in your car, that that makes you feel really uncomfortable. I personally think that there is one in this specific car. Another con I will have is that I use Tesla navigation just because it's so much easier for me to use rather than like looking on my phone. And the navigation is just not exactly the same as Apple or Google. It only gives you one route. There's no like other routes that you could take, which is kind of annoying because sometimes I like to see all of the different options in case I want to, you know, go another direction or whatever. It only gives you one and it's the quickest one and it also isn't as like advanced, I would say, as Apple or Google Maps. It doesn't tell you which lane to be in. It doesn't give you as detailed of instructions as Apple and Google and that's one thing that is a little bit annoying because they make it so easy to use, you know, the Tesla navigation so I always use it but I just wish that it was like the same quality as like the same advancement as Apple and Google. Another thing that's annoying is there's no option to hit superchargers near you. So you actually have to like look at the map and see where the superchargers are. But I just wish that there was an option to say like, where's the closest supercharger? Maybe there is. Let me, let me ask it. Where's the closest supercharger? Okay, wait, it just worked when I said that. So maybe there is a way to say that, but there's no way to do it on the screen. You have to like look to see the closest one on the screen. There's no like list option and like mileage option, but maybe because of the voice command, it works. Hmm. And then another con that I personally don't care about, but Keon told me I had to mention this because some people might care about it. Some of the finishes in the car are a little cheap. Mainly the center console had some plastic and I feel like for a luxury car, it's just not the nicest finish. Personally, I don't mind it at all. I don't think it looks bad. I don't think anything in this car looks bad. I literally love the way it looks. I love how clean it is. I love everything about it, but some people might not like it. And now let's talk about autopilot because that is one of the absolute coolest features of this car. That this car can drive itself. What? I do not have full self-driving mode. I cannot talk about full self-driving mode, which if you want to know the difference, full self-driving mode changes lanes for you. It stops at traffic lights for you. It can literally just drive completely on its own, like maneuver, stop, go, whatever. What I have is just autopilot, which is perfectly fine for me. You can, it drives on roads, it drives straight, and it stops and goes for you. So in traffic, you don't have to hit the brakes. It's stopping and going based on the car in front of you. If a car cuts you off, it realizes that and it like slows down. Like it's very, very smart. It just isn't gonna fully drive for you. However, it does make me a little nervous. I trust it, I do, but it makes me nervous because I'm like, is it gonna stop? Is it gonna stop? Is it gonna stop? Do I need to hit the brake? But then it ends up stopping all the time. It's still a little nerve wracking. You're like, you're on the highway and you're going 80 miles per hour and it's driving itself and you're like, it is this safe? But obviously nothing's ever happened to me in the car. I've driven on road trips and I put it on the entire way. Like the entire way autopilot is on and I feel totally safe with it and it just makes the drive go by so much faster. But I think there's a misconception with autopilot that like, oh, you can just like lay back and sleep and like have the car drive itself. Your hands still have to be on the wheel. So it will notice if your hands are not on the wheel and tell you like to apply a slight force on the wheel so it can like tell that that your hands are on it. It doesn't feel that force. It will it will remind you like every minute. Like it's not something that's like, oh, like every hour your hands have to be on the wheel. Like every minute it will remind you like apply slight force if it doesn't think your hands are on. Make sure that you are paying attention even when autopilot is on. If you do want full self-driving mode, you can actually pay $1.99 a month and you can just like upgrade it on your phone. Like you don't have to go into the store or anything and you just pay $200 a month and you can use it for the months you want it. You can take it off for the months you don't want it and have self-driving mode. So if you want me to do a video testing out self-driving mode, like the full thing for me or for you guys, let me know and I will purchase it for a month and try it out for you. But yeah, I personally love autopilot. I think for road trips, it's one of the best things. And just for being on the highway, it's like one of the best things. And because I did do a road trip, I've gotten questions on how that was. 
you do have to charge obviously it maps out every single area that you need to charge so it makes it super easy for you it takes out the guesswork so it tells you where you need to charge and you stop for around 30 minutes every single time and honestly I thought it would be more annoying than it was but also I mean you stop for gas when you are driving um, not as often you definitely charge a little more often because my mileage the range is only 300 miles um, so you do have to stop more frequently but I did realize that it wasn't annoying. I drove with my dad from Charlotte to Miami and whenever we did stop we would get food, we would go to the bathroom, we would get snacks, like nothing was ever an inconvenient stop. So I honestly didn't mind it as much as I thought. I also drove to Jacksonville and I had to charge once or twice and when I did stop I would just go inside and eat and it's usually in places that have a lot of things like it's usually in a shopping center that has a ton of stuff so you can actually like find things to do rather than just like a gas station off the side of the road. So personally I didn't mind the road trip with the Tesla. I thought that Tesla made it super easy by mapping everything out and the stops were not that inconvenient. So that's kind of my overall review of the Tesla. I am obsessed with this car. I absolutely love it. I think it's the best car ever. I'm not even just saying that. I love it. I am I feel like Tesla they just hook you in. It's like it's such a cool car. They hook you in and I'm so grateful to be able to drive this. If you are purchasing a Tesla, you can actually use my link. I'm just going to have it down below. You'll get a thousand free supercharger miles. I'll get a thousand free supercharger miles. And yeah, it's great to have. So especially if you're going on a road trip and need those supercharger miles. So you can order using my link down below. If you have a Tesla, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this? Are you going to get one? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.